Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to make this animation and how to work with the cloner tool in Spline. All right, so first step, let's delete this rectangle. I'm going to go to the background, change the color to something light, and I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to press and hold shift, create a cube, zoom in. I'm going to make it tall like that, and I'm going to go to the shape and make sure to increase the corner to 100% so it's going to be rounded. I'm going to position it here. I'm going to select the sphere and create a ball like that. And I'm going to select the cylinder and let's activate here down the cloner. We're going to change the linear to object and we're going to change to object here. We got none and as you can see we created the sphere. So if I click on this as you can see it's going to create clones around the sphere with the cylinder. It's pretty cool and you can also increase the count. We got it on three and you're going to increase it. For example you got 100% but you also can drag this. I'm going to try it out with 230 and we're going to go to the axis and change x to y. I'm also going to recolor this tube and we're going to make it disappear after that. So we're going to go to the materials. I'm going to also increase the light somewhere on 90. I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to select depth. This is actually pretty cool. I'm also going to drag the depth under the light. You can test it out this way where the depth is above the light or you can drag it under the light. So basically you can see the three dimensional form. But this time as a reference, I'm going to go when the depth is above because it creates a pretty cool form in here. And I'm going to change the colors as well. I'm going to click on the white, for example, and this way you can change up the colors. Click on the black and do it again. This is pretty cool. Now we can also change up the gradient. And as you can see, we got like two handles in here. You just can pull it. Now I'm going to select uh, the color from here in this area. I'm going to press Ctrl C, it writes, and I'm going to select now the sphere. Click on the sphere and I'm going to change the color of the sphere. And I'm going to copy paste the code here, Ctrl V. There you go. We got something similar. Good. Now I'm going to go back to the cylinder, click on it, and we're going to need to hide this object so we only can see the clones in here. So we're going to scroll down here. We got the cloner and you can see the base on show. And we're going to click on hide and as you can see it disappeared. I'm also thinking to add another material, change it to Fresnel. And I'm going to click on the Fresnel, change the color of the Fresnel. I got to go with a cyan-ish. And I also planning to decrease the bias a little bit and now you can work with it. All right, let's scroll down to the cloner. You also got here the seed. This is going to mess it up a little more, but in my situation, it was pretty good, I think. And from here, we're going to activate the randomness. You just scroll down and at the bottom right corner, you can see the randomness here. You can click on scroll and this is how you activate it. We're going to change from Perlene to simplex and I'm going to increase the scale. So it's going to randomize it like that. I'm going to go with uh, 0 0.26. I'm going to decrease the movement to 0. We also got the scale on 10. I'm going to decrease that somewhere on 2. I'm also going to go back to the sphere real quick and deactivate the light so I can make the cyan even more accurate. There you go. Look at that. Great. So from here, we're going to animate this. We're going to scroll up, click on the state scroll down we're going to go down to here to the movement from zero we're going to go somewhere around 15 type and enter scroll up click on the events plus click on the transition transition go down to the transition change easing out to linear we're going to change the duration all the way to 80 seconds and we're going to go to loop change it to infinite cycle ping pong click on play oh it goes kind of slow we're going to change that i'm going to go down to 20. There you go. You also can change up the skill if you will. I'm going to go back to the base state, scroll down, and here we got the scale. And I'm going to copy paste the 077 to the Z, control V. And look at that. I'm also going to increase it a little bit more. Why not? 124, control V. There you go. Now it's thick. Click on play. And there you go. And this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.